Okay, what we're making here is a blonde roux, which is the traditional roux for velouté's. Um, we're going to take it to a blonde stage, which is slightly cooked, almost sandy in texture, which affords a slight colour to the finished product. It's essential that you keep the roux moving, otherwise the starch granules will burn stick to the bottom of the pan and create a brown or a dark roux which is not what we're looking for. That's for a demi glass. Okay, as you can see now the roux has turned a nice golden colour, nice little sandy texture. What we're going to add now is um, some chicken stock. Now the first couple of additions of the stock into the roux need to be quite small, just bringing it back to a nice paste. Let the flour absorb all that stock. Each time in between the addition of stock, we must get a smooth consistency back into the roux. Now you can start to see close to the finished colour. nice light brown colour and that's been afforded by the cooking of the flour as you can see when the stock went in it was very clear very light so the colour is taken from the cooking of the flour which is the roux to a blonde consistency Ensure all the edges of the pan are nice and clean. Okay, it's still beautifully smooth. Nice velvety texture. Make sure all the thickening agent is off the spoon from the side of the pan. This is important because if it sticks to the side of the pan and the base ingredient stock sauce is inside, this is going to cook at different times to the stuff that's on the outside of the pan. It could crisp, go dry, fall into the mix and you'd have to pass or strain. As you can see, nice and smooth, velvety texture. And I'm just going to leave that to simmer for about 15 minutes, just so the flour cooks out a little bit more. This can be used as a base for sauces or soups. A velouté made out of white chicken stock with a blonde roux.